Did you know that Android will be getting a new feature called Theft Detection Lock later this year that will basically combine motion sensing with Google AI to detect when someone snatches your phone from your hand and attempts to dart off with it? If that does happen, Theft Detection Lock will keep sensitive information like financial and personal data safe and inaccessible to the thief. Pretty cool. And that's just one out of the many new major updates coming soon that'll take the Android ecosystem to the next level. This next one will allow you to utilize geospatial augmented reality content from within Google Maps using Street View and Lens. This will create a more immersive experience for when you want to check out and learn more about a location, whether you're physically at that location or not. You'll also be able to share that AR experience with others using a link or QR code. This will really get the ball rolling for the XR or extended reality platform that Google is teaming up with both Qualcomm and Samsung to put together. Speaking of QR codes, adding items to your Google wallets that use things like QR codes has already been possible. But not too long from now, you'll be able to add digital versions of things like insurance cards, tickets to games, concerts and other events, membership cards, and more to your wallets by snapping a photo of them. It's as simple as that. Talk about convenience. Satellite messaging support will also be included in the upcoming Android 15 update. Michelle Rahman was one of the first to find out about this, and it makes perfect sense, especially since some carriers like T-Mobile teamed up with Starlink to make this happen for current LTE devices. Some T-Mobile customers in the latest Android 15 beta have even been able to find the carrier satellite settings page, which further confirms that it'll be released soon. It's gonna be a very handy feature as it will allow people to contact others in remote areas where cellular connection isn't possible. The fight against scams, fraud, and malicious applications is getting stronger as Google is implementing real-time threat detection via Google Play Protect. This uses on-device AI that will monitor, analyze, and pick up on strange and suspicious behavior and warns users about it or completely disables the app, if deemed necessary, in order to protect you. Google ensures that this will be done without collecting user data too. Not only that, but other things like protections for notifications, continuing sensitive information, and one-time passwords, unencrypted cellular connections, and more are coming as well. Real-time detection continues on the phone call side of things, where Google will use Gemini Nano to alert users of things like fraudulent bank practices that target users by asking for personal information, strange requests for transferring of funds, or to make payments using gift cards. This is a very important feature since it's been reported that people have lost more than $1 trillion to scams and fraud in only one year's time. This will be an opt-in feature that will remain on device, so the information at hand will be known to that user and that user only. Circle to Search got even more useful with the ability to help students with their homework. Using Google's LearnLM models designed specifically for learning and education, this feature will equip students with understanding that goes far beyond just handing them the answer. It'll provide them with proper tools and instructions which lead to knowing how things actually work. Later down the line, this feature will get upgraded to help with a wider range of difficult homework-centric problems, such as symbolic formulas, diagrams, graphs, and more. Google is also aiming to greatly enhance your Google Photos experience with a new feature called Ask Photos. This uses Gemini AI, and with it, you'll soon be able to search for specific contextual moments or information. The AI will find out what you're looking for and present it in a clean and easy to digest format. Google showcased a couple of examples at I.O. that involved locating a forgotten license plate number and family milestones so that you could look back on your past a lot more easily. Now I know that Search and Google Photos can already handle certain simple queries just fine, but with Gemini AI, they're looking for this function to be a lot more handy and handle a lot more complex searches. Now obviously, I love the Android ecosystem for its flexibility and diverse features and I've always chosen to stick with it. But no matter what kind of Android device I switch to, keeping my data private and secure is essential. And Surfshark VPN, this video sponsor, has always been my go-to, offering smooth integration to safeguard all of my online activities. It ensures my personal information stays private while I browse the internet 
on any public network, like at a hotel or a coffee shop. It gives me peace of mind knowing that no hackers can snoop in on my online activity while I work on any important projects. Plus, when I travel, I use Surfshark all the time to bypass geo restrictions, giving me access to content from different countries and helping me avoid censorship. And when I shop online, I can even stop websites from overcharging me based on my location. Not to mention that its straightforward interface and dependable performance makes it a must-have for anyone serious about online security. Right now, there's a special offer with Surfshark. If you subscribe today, you'll not only protect your online activities, but you also get an extra four months for free. Don't miss out on this chance to enhance your entered experience with excellent security and privacy protection. Anyway, another exciting update coming to the new Android ecosystem is the new Find My Device network. It will allow users to locate lost Androids and other tracking devices much more easily, quickly, and securely since it will use billions of other Android devices. You can locate compatible devices that are offline, and some devices like the Pixel 8 and 8 Pros can even be found if the battery is completely dead or if they're powered off. You can track devices you've tagged with Bluetooth trackers from brands like Pebblebee and Chipolo. Tags from Motorola, Geo, Eufy, and more are on the way too. And these will use the Find My Device application and they'll be able to push out unknown tracker alerts on both Android and iOS. The Find Nearby button will help you locate items that are within close proximity. And if you've lost something at home and you own Nest products, they can actually help find those misplaced items too. Lastly, if you're still having trouble finding an item, you can have friends and family help you out by sharing that device with them. They'll be able to see that device in the app on their phones and you have full control over who has access and how long they have access. Some Android smartwatches will also be getting some love. Wear OS 5 is releasing sometime later this year for which Google is pushing out a developer preview and it'll be getting some pretty big updates. It'll have significant battery life upgrades as workout tracking will be less taxing and more efficient. A new and improved watch face format will make for a richer visual and functional experience. Health services will bring new types of data for running and refinements for certain instantaneous metrics and more. Android Auto is also getting some fantastic updates. For example, a few new apps are on their way like the Uber driver app, Max, Peacock, and Angry Birds. And Rivian will also be the first to support Google Cast, allowing you to cast media from your mobile device straight to the car. This will be coming to other vehicles running Android Automotive OS as well. Android Auto and Android Automotive OS will be getting a new tier system for car application quality. Tier 1 will consist of applications designed for cars specifically. They'll provide the highest quality and will be best equipped for adapting to different display types and driving and park modes. Tier 2 includes general applications that are optimized for cars, and Tier 3 apps will be ready for and usable for larger displays, but won't have any features unique to car use. In addition to that, Google starting an assessment of mobile applications classified as Tier 3, ensuring their automatic enrollment for availability on Android Auto and Android Automotive platforms. This means that apps of all kinds will be ready to go at a much faster pace than usual. A feature called Private Space is making its way alongside Android 15, and as the name suggests, this allows you to create a space containing applications you wish to keep private. So whether it's your banking or health applications, password managers, cloud storage apps, basically anything you want to keep on the down low, you can protect using locks or biometric authentication. Those apps and their data will be completely isolated from the rest of the device, ensuring that you're the only one that can access them. TalkBack is getting some Gemini Nano love this year as well with its multimodal functionality allowing those with blindness and vision problems to get a better and more detailed and clear understanding of what's going on on the screen with more fleshed out descriptions. And having an internet connection isn't required since Gemini Nano works on device. Gemini AI itself in general will also be getting better too. In the coming months, devices will get the ability to bring up Gemini on top of whatever app is open, and from there, users will be able to do things like drag and drop an AI-generated photo into messages or email threads. Or you can find info on a YouTube video you're watching with Ask This Video, or quickly find whatever you're looking for in a PDF with Ask This PDF. 
These updates will improve Gemini's overall contextual understandings of what's on the screen at that time. Last but not least, Gemini Live will launch this summer. Google's making it so that you can have full on live conversations with Gemini using your voice. And with their newest speech models, Gemini adapts to your speech patterns to improve responses. On top of that, later this year, Gemini will get Project Astro's video understanding capabilities. So using your device's camera, Gemini can see what you're pointing at and perhaps you had a question or we're looking for more information on that subject. Gemini will respond accordingly in real time, which is insane. Anyway, if you want to see all the new features in Android 15, tap this video right here, drop a thumbs up to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!